Welcome back to Circle Navigation. This is Season 1, Episode 7. I am your host, Aisha Jordan. decided to do something totally different. We traveled to Albany, Georgia, to the Ray Charles Plaza at the Hilton Gardens. This is Circle Navigation, Season 1, Episode 7. When you showed up and came across my way I wasn't looking for attention, attention But somehow we have found it anyway Oh, how you touched my hand Before we get started, let's do a recap of the previous episode. We had Tia Monios for Dine and Design, Tony B and Team Anuyu for Health and Wellness, Frank Attaway for Black History Month, and we also aired our new hip hop segment, Christopher's Corners, Steve Place. Now let's get started on today's show, and I'd like to introduce my co host, Jatabriel Elliott. Hi, I'm Jatabriel Elliott, and we're going to start off our show today with the COVID safety update. According to the Associated Press, the Omicron coronavirus has peaked in the state of Georgia. We are still asking you to continue to take all safety precautions. Washing your hands, in some cases masking up, and remaining six feet apart. I am Jatabriel Elliott, and let's go to commercial break so that we can get these bills paid. Yeah, Man, I need a proper team, man. I need a proper team. No. You throw your life away in the streets, man. At this moment, we'd like to give a special shout out to our sponsors, Coca Cola. Thanks for believing in us and thanks for the in kind donation. Welcome back from commercial break. This is season one, episode seven of Circle Navigation. I am your host, Aisha Jordan. Today, we brought back Team A New You to help motivate us into learning the importance of health and wellness. It's me, Coach Tony B. But today you can call me Bite Street Tony, man. Cause we in work mode, you feel me? You know when we in work mode, man. Every time we see food, what we do, Rudy G? Let's eat. We eat. Yeah. Ain't yeah, no right. way around it, ain't no doubt about it, man. Boy, I want you to tap in with me, man. Follow me at DCT Tony B. Uh, on any site you can go to, any platform you can find me, dog. We got a new record called Hallelujah. You know somebody can leave record with my new EP called Silence is 85. You understand me? I'm gonna let the fam put you on game and let you know what's really happening. Hey everybody, it's Coach CC here to let you all know about our wellness, our fitness, our life changes, and everything that takes place. To make a better you and to build a better you, it starts with you. You have to be the first person to make that step coming forward to change your life for the better. I have been on that process with changing my life and starting at 273 pounds of weight. So now I am in it completely for a complete life change to continue to do better, to be better, to feel better, to make process in my life with a new you. You can become a new you to the fullest, a better person, a better version of yourself. All right, so let me ask y'all some show. Are you ready to be an influence? Do you even know what an influence is? Can you persuade people to do something that they wouldn't usually do? If that's you, 
then I'm looking for you to become a paid brand ambassador right now. Everyone, you, every one of my family members you just seen, contact one of us right now today. Reach out to us. We're gonna teach you how to become a paid brand ambassador. All right. This is new you, you and this is circumnavigation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Today on Dine and Design, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Usually we'll go out and find other entrepreneurs and business owners for this segment, but today we're going to be taking a look into my personal journey. Well, tonight I'm just going to go into a little bit of history of myself. Well, as you know, my name is Jatabriel Elliott. I am a mother of two beautiful children. I have a son, his name is Terrence. I have a daughter, her name is Elysia. One is five and one is two, and they are my world. I'm a single mom, I work hard, um, I also go to school. I'm currently pursuing a nursing degree, which of course is very strenuous in itself. Circle Navigation is definitely an outlet for me. It's given me a place to express myself and be who I am and to meet new people and do new things. Um, before this, I wouldn't say that I would have done this, but now I'm just very open to it. It has opened me up as a person. One of my most favorite times I would say I would had on the show is definitely when we went to the Mike Miller show and we got to see all of the comedians and I actually got to spend time with my team outside of actually filming. Um, we definitely have some really good times on the show. Um, my director took forever to learn my name, but now he has a down pack, <laughs> which I'm so glad because he was tearing it up. <laughs> I absolutely love working with my co-host, Aisha. She is amazing. She keeps me laughing. We have great moments on the show. I mean, she's beautiful also. And I love working with our co-producer, Mom Pam. Um, I know her affectionately as Jess Pam because she actually raised me. Um, she's known me since before I even came out the womb. So she just, she's everything. I love it, I love it, I love it. One thing I would ask God to do for this show is provide us with an actual studio. And of course, more money to do more bigger projects, to travel more, so that we can just enjoy ourselves thoroughly. <laughs> give a special shout out to Checkers of Albany, Georgia. This is Circle Navigation Season 1, Episode 7. Welcome back from Commercial Break. This is Season 1, Episode 7 of Circle Navigation. I am your host, Aisha Jordan. Today on our Black History segment, I will be introducing our very own Melissa Hughes. I am so excited to be here at Circle Navigation, a platform where I can tell my story. I'm a county commissioner here in Tiff County. Been a county commissioner for over 16 years, serving my fourth term. Very unusual for a woman in Tiffin. I am the first black woman to be elected to this position. And it's such an honor. How I got started in all of this, it was definitely God. 
because I didn't know what a commissioner was. Had no idea. On my way to my parents' house, a very still voice said to me, County Commissioner. I sat there for about five to seven minutes, ran in the house and told my parents, I think I'm gonna run for County Commissioner. My dad said, yeah, go for it. My mom said, don't do it. That was that mama bear. Because she know how this world is. But I must say, I am so glad that I ventured off into this because I have the opportunity to help people. I have an opportunity to help my district, which is the best district it is, and that's District 2. One of the few things that I implement in being a county commissioner is one street at a time. And that's where I go to a different streets, part of the community, and I pick up litter. When I first became a commissioner, there were so many dilapidated homes. I got with code enforcement, and in the first six months, we, there were 10 homes, that dilapidated homes that were torn down. I, am, I was so excited about that. I got a park redone. Very, very excited about that. That was Copeland Park. There were things that was going on at Copeland Park that the, the children could not go out there and play. But if you go by Copeland Park now, it's a place where the children, there's a new playground out there. There's still some things that we need to do, but guess what? It takes all of us. I can't do any of this by myself. Another thing that I do, I collect coats. And the way, the reason that I started collecting coats, I would see children walking to school with capris on and just hoodies. And it was cold. And so I decided to get the community involved by collecting coats. And as of today, there has been over 3,000 coats that have been collected. And I've been doing this for over 16 years. From day one, I started that. The next thing that I'm very proud of is I do a sock drive. And I have collected numbers of socks, so many socks that I take to different schools. These are things that I love doing. And I must say, this is not part of what a commissioner does, but this is a passion that I do. And a passion, you go for it, you do it. Regardless of what your title is, you do those things. There's another thing that disturbs my spirit, and that's the crime. We have black on black crime. Why we have that, I don't know. How can we solve this? I'm not sure. But one thing I do want to say is, I'm here. I had someone to say, or post on social media, that the leaders don't come out. But one thing that I would like to ask the viewing audience, would you want your mother to be out there, regardless of what her title is? That is not what my job is to do. That is for the police and the sheriff's department to do. Yes, it breaks my heart when I hear these things, but that is not my job. You can call me and guess what I can do? I can call the sheriff. You can reach me at 229-326-0241. I am always, always, and I must say again, always available. I answer my phone and I return calls. That's because I do love my district. And when we have a district, and when I say that I have a district, I'm talking about my neighbors. And your neighbors, there are no boundaries. So you can be in District 1, District 2, District 3, whatever district it is, all I ask you to do is call me because I do love Tifton. And I would like to see all of us, and especially our young black men, make it to the right old age that God has promised us, and that's 70 plus. I am in the process of writing a book about 30, 40 years now, I was raped. And I hear from a lot of young women, a lot of young girls that see me as an inspiration. And I had a very dear friend that I was telling my story to. And he told me that I needed to put it in print. And I have started writing this book. And it's called Commission to Live. I'm at the age of 50 plus. But at this age, I've gone through a lot. And I guess that's why I have a passion for people. Because I was raped. And living in a small town, everybody knew about that. 
I was in high school, actually a senior in high school. And some years later, not being able to handle the pressure, I tried to commit suicide. So I'm here to tell you, there's a book coming out and I would like for you all to just be looking out for it. It's called Commission to Live. And when God gave me that title, I knew what it was all about. I will ask any woman, any child, any girl, any boy, if you're going through something, talk to somebody, reach out to them. There are people out there that care. Never let anyone tell you that nobody cares because there is someone out there to care. That was one thing that I did, didn't do. I didn't talk to people. I tried to hold everything on these shoulders. And doing that, I almost lost everything. So I'm here to tell you, you can even call me. I'll give you that number again, 229-326-0241. We are, if you have a puzzle, if one piece is missing, the puzzle is not complete. I am Commissioner Melissa Hughes, Tiff County Commissioner and Chairman, ACCG Vice President, and you are looking at Circle Navigation. That concludes today's show of season one, episode seven of Circle Navigation. Remember to stay blessed, never stressed, and see you on the next episode. If you want